Hi, in this video I will be discussing uh, the list of various important topics in anatomy. So based on differing various entrance papers, I have found few topics where there are many repetitive questions, right. So while you are preparing, you can focus on these particular topics, right. So coming to osteology, so we have various categories in anatomy as you all know. So coming to various topics in osteology, as you can see we have several questions from foramina, their location, their presence in the skull and also most importantly the structures passing through these foramina, right. And also we have questions on pneumatic bones, air filled spaces in the bones, right, pneumatic and non pneumatic bones of skull and also we have questions on number of bones in the skull in case of adult in case of children right and also we have several questions from deep cervical fascia so deep cervical fascia we have different layers we have questions on these layers and also the structures or the bony structures or the muscle uh, tissues which are enclosed within this deep cervical fascia so we have questions from these areas as well and also we have questions from craniosynostosis due to premature fusion of various sutures in children and also we have several questions on different types of sutures based on their location we have different types of sutures right and also we have questions from the maxillary sinus the pneumatization process various boundaries etc right and also several questions from the base of the skull various foramina present various structures passing through them etc so these are some of the important topics which you can focus on while you are going through osteology right and coming to various important topics in mouth pharynx larynx and salivary glands as well as thyroid glands you have questions from valdeer's lymphatic chain most commonly asked questions from this particular topic right valdeer's lymphatic chain and also various relations of salivary glands their anatomic relations with its in structures especially submandibular gland and also we have questions from salivary glands and their ductal openings the names of their ducts and their openings and where they are located right so even from these areas we have several questions and i guess you can't say this is pes anserinus so pes anserinus a question was asked in a page 15 and also it's a it's considered as a stock question pes anserinus is it resembles goose foot and it's basically a division of facial nerve within the parotid gland it resembles that of goose foot right and also we have questions in tongue so we have questions from muscles of tongue various extrinsic and intrinsic muscles their origin and their nerve supply and their exceptions and also we have questions from the lymphatic drainage lymphatic drainage of tongue various parts of tongue tip of tongue body of tongue and base of tongue and also we have questions from the taste receptors right so when you're going through tongue focus on these areas and also the nerve supply of tongue right uh, sensory supply motor supply special sensations even that topic is considered very very important right and coming to vascular supply of head and neck we have most commonly questions from common carotid artery internal carotid artery external carotid artery and the branches their relations lymphatic drainage of teeth dangerous area of face dangerous area of scalp we can expect several questions from these uh, stock topics and also we have questions from facial vein retromandibular vein and also various branches of subclavian artery vascular supply to bones it can be either flat bone or a long bone so vascular supply to bones right and also as i mentioned we have questions on internal carotid external carotid artery as well right and then moving on to nerve supply of uh, head and neck so we have various questions from the clinical aspect in the sense uh, various questions related to lesions especially facial nerve lesions facial nerve pulses lower motor neuron lesions upper motor neuron lesions etc and also we have questions from a sensory supply of nasal cavity lateral wall of nose is considered to be a very important topic as well and also we have questions from nerve supply to maxilla lingual nerve auriculotemporal nerve and we have mainly questions from the posterior triangle uh, in sense we have questions in relation to the components of the triangle various innervations etc right and also we have questions from trigeminal ganglion and several other questions like hypoglossal nerve superior laryngeal nerve and house brackman scale so this house brackman scale it's basically used for evaluating neuronal damage in case of facial palsies right and also we have questions from circle of phyllis this is vascular supply of brain and so in vascular supply you can anticipate the questions from this topic as well circle of willis so these are some of the topics which we can anticipate from the nerve supply of head and neck and then coming to muscles so in muscles 
of head and neck we have most importantly muscles of mastication as well as various muscles responsible for different types of movements of mandible right so mandibular movements and also various arrangement of muscle fibers like multi pinnate bi pinnate uni pinnate different arrangement of fascicles and also we have questions from the intrinsic and extrinsic muscles of eye and also their nerve supply exceptions and questions from tmj ligaments platysma muscles of facial expression again is considered to be very important and muscles of mastication right so these are some of the topics which you can focus on while going through muscles of head and neck and also we have few questions from pesavets muscle as well as ridge so these are related to paltopharyngeus muscle and superior constrictor muscle right so these are some of the questions which you can anticipate from the muscles of head and neck and then coming to embryology so we have most importantly when you're going through embryology start with the basic chapter development of face and also most importantly pharyngeal arches because we can anticipate several questions from pharyngeal arches especially their components and the derivatives muscle derivative nerve derivative as well as vascular derivative so we have various derivatives from pharyngeal arches and the development process of pharyngeal arches is also very important we need to master this topic right so we have several questions from the following topics in embryology like formation of secondary palate various germ layers and the derivatives ecto endo and mesoderm and the derivatives neural tube branchial fistula and as i mentioned pharyngeal arches you need to focus on that it's very important and also development of mandible as well as maxilla right so these are some of the topics which you can focus on in embryology right so this is the overview of various important topics in anatomy right thank you